Hello everyone and welcome to the Scuffed Kitchen. Today we are making a delightfully creamy, hearty dish. Beef stroganoff. It is a classic dish in Russian cuisine and it is beloved in all of Europe for a very good reason. It's really tasty and surprisingly easy to make. With that being said, without further ado, let's get started right away. Today we will need 250 grams beef fillet, 150 grams portobello mushrooms, 50 gram cornichons, one yellow onion, 100 milliliters white wine, 100 ml of beef stock, 100 ml heavy cream, two tablespoons clarified butter or ghee, salt to taste, pepper to taste, 15 grams tomato paste, 50 grams spicy mustard, and 15 grams all-purpose flour. And finally, some parsley as garnish. Let's start with the prep work. We will need to cut the vegetables and the meat. I'll start with the cornichons first. After that, I continue with the onion, which I peel and then dice. The mushrooms should be washed and then can be cut into slices. There is no need to remove the stem, it is soft enough to eat. With that out of the way, it's time to cut the meat. Depending on which kind of fillet you'll get, you'll have to adjust on how to approach this. The goal is to have long strips in the end. In my case, I first cut a few slices against the fibers and then cut the strips out of that afterwards. Once done, set everything aside. At this point, I should also mention that this recipe can be found on my website. There's a ton of more and additional info and you can follow along on your own time. Check out scuffedkitchen.com. It's free and the link is in the description. Thank you. That's all the prep we need. Time to start the cooking. All you need here is a single deep pan. Start up by melting half of the clarified butter. Then put in all of the beef and sear it on high heat. Once you're happy with the brownness, remove it from the pan. Next, melt the remaining butter over medium-high heat in the same pan. Add the onions and cook them until they become slightly translucent, at which point you should add the mushrooms. Cook them until they start shrinking, then add the tomato paste and let it coat everything. Afterwards, add the mustard and do the same. Once everything is sufficiently coated, sprinkle over all of the flour and give it a thorough mix. Be careful at this point to not let anything burn at the bottom of the pan. You may want to lower the temp if it gets too hot. Now add the white wine and make sure the flour dissolves. After a minute add the beef stock. Bring everything to a boil. Then add the cornichons and the beef. Stir thoroughly. Once it starts simmering again, add the heavy cream. Mix and then season with salt and pepper. Let it simmer for 3 more minutes or so. Do not forget to taste test and adjust accordingly. In my case, a bit of pepper was missing so I just added quickly to the mix. With everything done, it's time to plate. I would recommend eating some kind of pasta as side dish. I personally opted for linguine. Do not forget the parsley as a garnish. It definitely eats very important flavor. And with that, we are done. Ah, 
I have to say, this rich and creamy beef dish just hits all the right spots for me. It is just the right amount of tart, salty and oh so hearty. Please do give this a try and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're here, do not forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.